That went pretty well, didn't it? I mean, wow. Who saw that coming, really? Well, okay. I mean, we all probably figured the Ravens were going to win. I picked the Ravens to win their division, and I picked the Dolphins to be one of the worst two teams in the NFL. So, we all definitely thought that the Ravens were going to do well. But winning 59-10, to and also Lamar Jackson throwing for five touchdowns, I mean, that was definitely wild. Also, I know no one cares about fantasy football, but a little funny thing that happened. So, I made a video about Marquise Brown, but then my cousin saw that video and then drafted Marquise Brown in our fantasy draft just because he saw that video. And then, of course, we play week one, and then he plays against me, and he goes off for 150 yards and a couple of touchdowns. So, I ended up, I kind of worked against myself on that one. But yeah, insane game. I mean, part of me does feel a little bit vindicated because I have been beating the drum that look out for the Baltimore Ravens, but I'm actually not going to gloat or anything because it's only one game and they played against a bad team. I mean, the Ravens with Joe Flacco blew out the Bills last season, but then I think they went up to like 4-4 four and four before then putting in Lamar Jackson and then really going off later in the season. So again, I'm not going to gloat because it's only one game. If they do this for five games in a row, then maybe I'll give you an I told you so. But at least for one game, I think it should at least give you some optimism going into future games. I mean, the Miami Dolphins are still an NFL-level team, and Lamar Jackson was just fantastic. Like, we'll start things off with this play. The way it's going to work is it's going to be play action, and really the Dolphin you're going to want to take a look at will be that Miami Dolphin right over there. Because since it's play action, there's a good chance he could run in to try to stop the run. And if he does that, this now means that another Baltimore Raven can simply just run over the top of him and potentially get open. And of course, that Raven is Hollywood Brown. And while this video is really just entitled Lamar Jackson, and it really is about Lamar Jackson, of course I'm going to be talking about Hollywood on this play just because he was also so dynamic. But anyways, what you'll see right when this ball is snapped is that Miami Dolphin player totally fell for the fact that this could be a potential run. I mean, he totally fell for it. So this now means that for Brown, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup at this point. He just has to win his one-on-one -on -one matchup. That's all it comes down to. And as you see, he is definitely cutting early. There's some space. So for Lamar Jackson, he's thinking, okay, great. This will guarantee to be a few yards. But you don't want to just gain a few yards if possible. Ideally, you'd like to hit your receiver in stride and allow him to pick up as many yards as possible. But of course, that's a more dangerous thing because it now means that you could potentially miss this throw. So it's a tough play for Lamar Jackson to make. But watch his throw. It's absolutely perfect. And then, of course, with the Dolphin going after the ball to try and knock it away and missing, that allows Brown to run the rest of the way for a touchdown. So while there was plenty of yards after the catch, if Lamar Jackson didn't put that throw exactly where he had to put it, there's no way that's going to be a touchdown on that play. I mean, just a, just a perfect throw from Lamar. And there was also this one where, again, it's going to be really one Dolphin to take a look at, and it's going to be that Miami Dolphin safety who's deep, because he's the only Dolphin who is deep. So while this could definitely be a cover 2 zone, Lamar Jackson has a good feeling this is going to be a cover 3 or a cover 1. Because if this is cover 2, that would mean that obviously two Dolphins are deep, and both would kind of be on each side of the field. However, in a cover 1 or 3, that means that one Dolphin is deep. And if that's what he's thinking, he is correct, because this is actually going to be a cover 3 zone, but it's actually going to be a little bit of a modified cover 3 zone, simply because Miami is only going to be rushing 3 here, so they'll have 5 Dolphins who are in the middle of the field. But also, if you look back at the first Dolphin I showed you, the safety who is deep, notice where he's facing. He's facing up to the top half of the screen. He's clearly concerned about the receiver that Baltimore has at the top half of the screen, which actually is a reason to be concerned, since he is going to be running a go route here, so that it is something that that Dolphin could look to take away. But the dilemma is, Brown is actually running right over there. He's going to cut over and get to the middle of the field here. And so after this ball is snapped, Lamar Jackson's eyes are going to get huge once he realizes what's going on. Because once the ball gets over and you see what's going on as of right now, first look at how open Brown is. The reason why he's so open is because the Dolphin who's trying to keep up with him was actually in charge of covering the bottom third of the screen. The two Dolphins who are in charge of covering the top and middle half of the screen are all the way over there because they were both focused on the Raven who is over there. So basically, this play worked out perfectly. It was not really a busted coverage by Miami, but they could have played it better. And then Lamar Jackson is able to make a perfect throw. Brown makes the catch and is able to even break a tackle and get into the end zone for a touchdown. At this point, I think it's fair to say Lamar Jackson is good. I think that that's a fair statement at this point. He's a pretty good football player. I know, I'm getting pretty reactionary here. But again, I mean... I just thought that this is something that's definitely going to happen. I didn't see this as a Colin Kaepernick, as a Tim Tebow type situation. I don't think defenses can figure him out because he's a good throwing quarterback as well. I mean, obviously, I don't think anybody saw this coming, but again, it's one game. I mean, 
whatever. But moving over to Brown for a second, one way I was really impressed by him was plays like this. It's actually something I talked about in my video about Marquise Brown, is that defensive players are going to have to play off of him. He has that breakout speed that he can definitely, you know, turn the ball upfield and create some touchdowns out of it. So that's going to mean that curl routes become so much more effective. Like on a play like this, where he is running a curl route, if you notice, the corner who's in charge of covering him, look at how far off he's playing right here. He's basically giving up the first down already. He's past the first down marker here, which, you know, you could do potentially right when the ball is snapped and maybe you just don't move that much. That's something that you could consider doing here. However, that is not what he is going to do. I mean, if you see right when the ball is snapped, he's going to give up even more space and basically he's just giving up this catch on this one. It's something you can't do because it's a guaranteed catch, but at the same time, it's something you kind of have to do because Brown can beat you over the top so effectively. He obviously shouldn't have given up that much space, but... Again, that's what's going to happen a lot of times this season when you have a guy who has the speed of Hollywood Brown. And he's not just one of those speed guys. This guy is a good route runner as well, and Lamar Jackson is able to hit him. Kind of funny, another Raven tried to make the catch on that one. He thought the ball was coming to him. That's tight end Nick Boyle. You know, feel, feel a little bad for him. That's kind of like when you see somebody wave, so you wave back, but then realize that they were waving to someone behind you. But that was kind of one of those situations. But anyways, definitely a good play by Brown. And kind of just, you know, that's one of those... Brown won that play just by winning plays in the previous plays on the first quarter. And of course, give credit to the Ravens coaching staff for realizing that kind of thing is going on, and give credit to Lamar Jackson for taking advantage of it. You know, credit all around. And it also seemed like the Dolphins were just completely unprepared for the Ravens going deep a lot, which does make some sense. I mean, everyone was expecting the Ravens to be a run-heavy team, so the Dolphins definitely got a little bit blindsided by this. But at the same time, I mean, Baltimore was able to pick them apart. Like on this one, it's going to be a cover one linebacker blitz, and the way that's going to work for Baltimore is they have a receiver running right over there, and then they're also going to have Willie Sneed run over the top and run basically right to where that safety is standing. And so typically, the way this play works is that Willie Sneed kind of forces the safety deep, which then means that Lamar Jackson throws underneath him and hits the receiver who's going to be underneath him. However, after this ball is snapped, that safety is playing aggressive here. He's trying to intercut a ball over the middle. So for Lamar, he now knows, hey... Willie Sneed has a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and also if you look at him, he's getting ready to cut to the middle of the field, and that defensive back is facing the top half of the screen, so he is absolutely going to get open here. And not to mention, with all day to throw, offensive line looking great, Lamar Jackson is easily able to take his time and then make a relatively easy throw down the field for a touchdown. That's almost just too easy for Lamar. I'm almost not even impressed by that play. That's kind of the Dolphins just not being smart there. So I think after a play like that, a lot of people will be saying, okay, so we kind of have to just wait and see on Lamar Jackson. He beat up the, a bad team. He beat up the Dolphins. But it also should be mentioned, it's not like it was only some bad plays by the Dolphins. I mean, Lamar was making some good plays as well, and this one was one of them. It's a third down and goal in a 28-3 game. And one thing you will notice here is that it's clearly one-on-one -on -one coverage right up there on the top half of the screen. And so for the Ravens, who have a receiver running that route right there, it's something Lamar Jackson could look to throw to. However, since it's the heavy blitz by the Dolphins, one Dolphin is going to get completely free to Jackson, so this is a bad situation. I mean, if you look at how he's throwing the ball, he's completely off balance and running very far back. But So what's he going to do? Well, he's going to wall running backwards, make an absolutely perfect throw for a touchdown. I mean, that's just ridiculous. The receiver got pretty open. That was in the scramble drill. He, did, he made a good move to get open there, but also great play from Lamar. I mean, that is not easy to do, to throw off balance like that with that kind of accuracy. And oftentimes it's not smart to do, but hey, if you have a receiver open, why not take a shot? And there is also some tight windows who's fitting this ball through. Like, if you take a look at this one, the way it's going to work is it's man coverage, and really, the guy you're going to take a look at is going to be that Dolphin who's in charge of covering a tight end, because the tight end is running over the middle, and this is play action, so of course, when you have a tight end running over the middle on play action, it's usually a good situation. The linebackers get out of position because they have to stop the run, the tight end can't get open, you can throw over the top of them, gain some yards. We all get it. And so Lamar fakes the handoff, and as you see, that tight end is winning his own one-on-one -on -one matchup pretty well. He's open to a degree. But also, there's another Dolphin who is now going to drop back into coverage to try to make a play on this ball. You know, he did move in to make sure it's not a run, but now that he realizes it isn't a run, he is going to move back to try to knock this ball away. So it's going to take a very accurate throw from Lamar, but that's exactly what it is. I mean, again, a perfect throw to not only get it to his tight end on that play, but also get it in a situation where a tight end can pick up as many yards after the catch. Really just a great play by Lamar. I don't know why it has to keep being mentioned. This guy is not just a runner. This guy can throw the football as well as he keeps showing. He is definitely a good all-around quarterback, not just a good running quarterback. 
I mean, clearly he has an insane running ability. I mean, we've seen that last season. We saw that on the play I showed you just before that last one. I mean, him being mobile is definitely a good thing for the Ravens. One last play to talk about is going to be this one, where it's going to be play action, but then actually the fullback is going to run out to the bottom half of the screen, and that's going to be the guy that Lamar Jackson is going to look to throw to here. The one thing I like about Lamar Jackson is watch his footwork and watch how he pretty much instantly gets into position where he can make a throw. And by instantly, I mean right when he fakes his handoff, he quickly gets his shoulders turned, he gets his feet over, and he's ready to make this throw. Because if you notice, the fullback is open, but he's not going to be open for forever. Lamar Jackson has to get it there quickly, and he has the footwork to get his shoulders square quick enough that he can make that throw quickly. So yes, he can make off-balance throws pretty well, but if you can avoid it, you want to avoid it. He does a very good job of getting his feet over quickly. From there, he's able to make a quick throw and able to get a touchdown to make it a 49 to 10 point lead because you know that's really what you want. 42 to 10, that's a little tough, but once you make it to 49 to 10, that's when you start to feel start start to feel good about yourself. I mean, yeah, this was a dominating performance. I mean, just truly ridiculous. Uh, Give them a lot of credit, especially give Lamar Jackson a lot of credit, and of course Hollywood Brown, he played very well. But yeah, Lamar Jackson was a lot of fun to watch in his first game, I'm looking forward to seeing how he'll do the next couple of games, you know, you got the Cardinals next week, and then you have the Chiefs the week after, so some intrigue to be had in both of those games. I'm looking forward to seeing him play this rest of the season, I think it could be a lot of fun. I'd like to know what you guys think, and as always, thanks for watching.